What's up guys? Adam here. Welcome to another one of my videos. It's been a while. As you can see, the background has changed. I've actually moved. But let's not get into that. Let's get into this video. I'm going to be putting the 98-99, the treble winning Manchester United in today's Premier League and see how they'll fare against the current sides in the Champions League as well. See if we can recreate that treble. Let's take a look at the side. You probably already know most of the players, but let's just run through them. Schmeichel actually should have been a 90, but because of his age, is actually starting to decrease i tried best to recreate the goalkeeper kit hopefully you guys do appreciate the effort i put into that we got yap stam at 89 overall look at that big bald dutchman we have david beckham 23 year old david beckham 89 overall look at those traits and i'm so excited to see how this team actually fares we've got roy Keane. obviously the icons the legends whatever you want to call them they were easy to put into the save but then guys like dennis Irwin, i really needed to the face not so much but just pretend that it's dennis Irwin and the stats i put them to stats that i thought they actually should be 87 overall a paul skulls at 87 overall we got ryan Giggs. The 99 Ryan Giggs, not the one on trial for whatever he's on trial for. Let's just re remember him this way. 87 overall. Got Andy Cole at 87 overall. I think that's a, a pretty good rating for him. I, I searched up what he should be, and I think 87 would be a good overall for him. Got Ronnie Johnson, Norwegian center back, defensive midfielder. Actually started his career as a striker, so that's why one of his positions is a striker. We've got Oleg Gunnar Solskjaer. The hero in the Champions League final. Maybe he'll be able to recreate that magic. 86 overall. Gary Neville. Uh, I thought he would have been 86. But apparently he's 85. So that's what Gary Neville is. 23 years old. I think that's a fair rating for him. Don't mind the face. It's pretty hard to do faces when you know you don't actually have their scan face in the game. Teddy Sheringham, 85 overall, 32 years old. I think that's decent enough for him. Scored some crucial goals for Manchester United, helping them to win the treble. Dwight York, Trinidad and Tobago striker, 84 overall. I think this is a decent overall for him. Gonna go ahead and change those work rates before we actually get into this. And then we've got Nicky Butt. I tried to do as many players as possible in the side. When I was doing some of these simulations, I saw a little bit of, you know, some pet peeves from some viewers. So, unless we get to the Champions League final, I think every game is gonna be simulated. As you can see, we started off with a 3 0 victory against Leeds, 2 2 draw against Southampton, 4 2 victory against i think it was wolves let's see if we can have a perfect month of september i'd love to win the treble once again i think this team can do it and we lose in one of the cups against i don't know what side that is not really that familiar with the whole english football system but a loss to a team that's maybe in league one maybe league two we lose a champions league match against young boys lose to liverpool We're gonna win against spurs and heading into November, we've got some losses, which is not what I like to see. The cup that we're actually eliminated from was the Carabao Cup. I don't think the FA Cup started yet, so there's still the round one. I'm sure we're going to be placed among, you know, the bigger side. So we're going to start later on in the competition. So let's wait for that. And hopefully we can continue to get some victories. Get some revenge on young boys. Manchester Derby, a 1-1 draw against manchester city that one was i think away from home or at home drawn the champions league victory in the premier league chelsea we're gonna lose 3-2 pick up a 2-1 victory against the gunners atalanta in the champions league away from home 4-2 victory i think that's gonna confirm our spot in the knockout stages of the champions league no losses yet in december Going to be the case against Brentford once again. We pick up a victory, a draw against Brighton and Hove Albion. Obviously, the rotation with the players here and there may have an effect on this. But with their quality, I think we can go all the way. 2-1 victory against Newcastle. 2-0 victory against Burnley. Heading into the January transfer window where we're not going to be making any moves. Here's where we sit on the 1st of January. Looking like Liverpool is just unstoppable. 49 points, 15 victories, 4 draws, 1 loss. Treble winning Manchester United. 20 games played, 10 victories, 8 draws, 2 losses. Gotta stop leaking some goals. Gave the players new contracts. See if that'll help with morale. And hopefully make a charge in the second half of the season to win the Premier League. Champions League, we're drawn up against Shakhtar Donetsk. There's some very, very good teams. But I'm looking at Bayern Munich. 
see if we can recreate that Champions League final and actually beat them in it once again. And the FA Cup were drawn up against Wigan in the third round. So hopefully we can go far in this. Let's just simulate through. Oh, we're going to lose the first game against Wolves. I gave everybody a new contract. Everybody's morale should be good. We're going to draw against Wigan. Replay against them. Gonna win in penalties. This side is not faring too well in the current day Premier League. Current day FA Cup. But still, we're gonna pick up victories all through the end of January. And we're into the next round of the FA Cup. But guys, really not looking that good. Let's see how we fare through February. March. Going to the 1st of April. That's a tough loss against Burnley. I don't know what's happening. Maybe they're resting some players, the AI, but... Still doesn't seem like Dwight York is picking up some games. Victory against Leeds in the Cup. Into the next round of the Cup where we win against Birmingham. And we take another draw in the Derby, the Manchester Derby. But not that many losses through February and March. Only one against Burnley. We've been drawn up against Liverpool in the Champions League. Neutral Cup. What is this? Is this the FA Cup final already? It's not. It's the FA Cup semi-final against Manchester City. We haven't been able to beat them. It's only been draws. Chelsea and Wolves. Champions League. Bayern are still in it. We've been drawn up against Liverpool. So looking for Bayern and taking a look at the table on the 1st of April. We are currently in third place. Liverpool just absolutely running away with it. 74 points. Doesn't look like we're going to win the treble again, guys. Nothing much we can do. Just Liverpool, two losses. They have not stopped. They've had their foot on the gas all season. Okay, I can see Dwight York has finally scored a goal. <laughs> finally getting some game time, I guess, for nine games. I don't know what. I have no idea what the AI is doing, but Andy Cole with 14 goals. Dennis Irwin, the left back with 16. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, the hero of the Champions League final, 27 goals. David Beckham, 11 goals, 9 assists, just playing phenomenally. Yap Stam has got himself 4 goals. And this is how the team is shaping up. Nicky Butt has got himself a goal. Peter Schmeichel obviously playing every single game. And Neville, no goals. Janssen, no goals. And the top assist man in the side is David Beckham. Let's charge to the end of the season. Go through the month of April. Looks like the treble is is just beyond reach with draws like that 2-2 two -two draw to liverpool and we're going to be advancing to the next round against wolfsburg another victory in the premier league we lost to everton we win the fa cup semi-finals i don't know if it's two legs i think it no it's actually just one leg so we made it to the fa cup final we've picked up some victories in the month of april we moved into the semi-finals of the champions league but that loss against everton it's just little losses like that that just seems like it's gonna be out of reach but liverpool we beat them in the Champions League semi-finals of the Champions League against Wolfsburg. And it looks like PSG defeated Bayern Munich. So no recreation of the Champions League final. So either Manchester City, Paris Saint-Germain are going to be our opponents if we do make it into the Champions League final. FA Cup, it's what I like to see. Chelsea, Manchester United, 14th of May 2022. We're going to be hopefully watching that final or just looking at the highlights. And it looks like Liverpool have been crowned champions of the Premier League. 85 points. We cannot make up enough points. So no treble. Let's hope for the double. Liverpool just outstanding, but we beat them in the Champions League. But yeah, it was a 1-1 draw on the first leg. It was away. The away goals obviously don't count anymore but at old trafford i'm hoping for some big things from the players let's see if we can advance into the finals it's gonna be a four nil victory against wolfsburg incredible statement by the players a loss to brighton we're gonna take on arsenal pick up a 2-1 victory taking on psg in the finals of the champions league let's take a look at the fa cup final well, since solshire just has an incredible amount of goals this season he's gonna be starting here from minute one Neville, Janssen, Stam, Irwin, Beckham, Keane, Scholes, Giggs, Solskjaer, and Andy Cole. Let's see if we can pick up our first piece of silverware this season. I don't know why it's taking forever to load. Oh, that's a fantastic strike from Andy Cole. Puts us up 1-0 at halftime. And hopefully, sign of things to come in the second half. Going to definitely make some changes. Throw on York. 
Thrawn sharing him and also Nikki but see if they can have an impact on this game and team over underscore so everything I just said is just irrelevant Solskjaer throw on goal that's another one for all like or Solskjaer hopefully gonna be winning us the FA Cup oh <laughs> every time I say let's try and win it ZX scoring made some changes Schmeichel now has the armband is this one going into extra time is this one going into penalties so that's it adding into penalties gonna leave the penalties as is don't mind the stats I just did what I thought was right Erwin gonna be starting I've actually never looked at penalties like this Mason Mount scoring the first penalty of the final Dennis Irwin puts it into the top left corner Dick is he gonna be saved by Schmeichel he hits off the bar or maybe who knows he saved it there Yapstam going Yapstam scoring and we got Azpilicueta he's gonna be missing Beckham to hopefully put this one in he's gonna get saved you know what I'm gonna jump in just because I'd like to see the celebrations as Mendy saving that one great save and I just need to dive one way can that's put in by Pulisic Manchester United can maybe win this I don't know what's going on with my controller Solskjaer gonna try to put it in the top right corner he does if Schmeichel saves this we win the FA Cup and that's step one of the double Kovacic gonna be missing the target and Manchester United winning the FA Cup For the Champions League final Manchester United actually did have themselves uh, like a different kit but to do all that was just a lot of work you're gonna be seeing the kit in full detail here hopefully you guys can try to make as accurate a, of a representation as possible obviously I can't change where the badge goes I can only make it on FIFA kit creator and there's Schmeichel lifting the FA Cup trophy let's simulate some more games let's check out the Champions League final see how we finish this season hopefully with the double Manchester United unable to do it but Liverpool just a class above us 89 points 76 for Manchester United 77 goals for 45 against 22 victories 10 draws and six losses the Carabao Cup we actually did get knocked out by I think it was Coventry City so uh <laughs> that sucked the FA Cup you just saw that we did win it and let's take a look at the Champions League see who PSG beat to get here they beat Manchester City they beat Bayern Munich the finalists of the 1999 Champions League final so and Solskjaer finishing with 35 goals in all competitions 20 goals for Andy Cole 19 for Dennis Irwin the left back David Beckham got himself 17 goals 11 assists Ryan Giggs 14 goals 8 assists Yapstam got himself 5 goals which is great for him Roy Keane the absolute destroyer of a central midfielder got himself 4 goals a goal for York Sheringham Skulls and Nicky Butt and Dwight York just can't recreate the season he actually had with 18 goals I think top goal scorer of Manchester United that's due to some lack of playing time and I'm actually gonna go ahead and start the starting 11 that started against Bayern Munich against PSG so unfortunately since I didn't create uh Jesper Blomqvist he's not gonna be starting here I just felt like he didn't you know do a lot maybe because it was an injury to Roy Keane he didn't actually start I don't exactly know why Keane didn't start the Champions League final but he's starting here we've got York and Cole up top with Schmeichel uh freaking Yapstam I gave him the captain's armband again I just keep forgetting to change that we're gonna change it midway through the game hopefully and we're gonna have I forget who it was lifting up the Champions League trophy so I'll look for that throughout this match well that was easy all I did was just change Stam for somebody and then put him back and Schmeichel got himself the armband so he's gonna be lifting it if we do win it what in the world was that by Janssen tried to score from half field and the call David Beckham what a save by Keylor Navas end of the first half nil nil best opportunity coming at the end of the half oh that's a great opportunity shoots straight at Keylor Navas but Dwight York scoring the first goal in the Champions League final 1-0 Manchester United hopefully on our way to the victory we've rested very well for this match and PSG working it well trying to bring it inside the box but we're just doing so well defensively to just shut them down Messi finding Hakimi Hakimi doesn't shoot looks for Messi 
and it's Lionel Messi. What do you want to do? 81st minute is exactly when Solskjaer came on. So hopefully he can get himself the goal. The goals were scored in stoppage time. Maybe Solskjaer can make some magic happen once again. Thought I was able to jump in and just watch the rest of the match, but it seems like we can't. Don't tell me PSG is going to score just dragging that one wide. PSG coming ever so close to winning this one in the final minute. Solskjaer. He's more out wide, but gonna probably put him a little bit more centrally. Looking like we're heading into extra time. It's all set up for Solskjaer to get himself the goal and recreate history and win the Champions League once again. Is this final gonna end in a penalty shootout? Just like the FA Cup. It seems with me, every time I do things on FIFA and simulate, it literally always goes into extra time and then penalties. Let's just get this ball out of our box, please. Because I'm not liking what I'm seeing, boys. I'm really not liking what I'm seeing. Our fitness is there. They're completely drained. And they're still able to work this ball around. Great save by Schmeichel. Five minutes remaining. Can we go and score ourselves the winning goal? So, uh, Solskjaer finding shearing him. Just blasting passes into each other. And it looks like this one's heading into penalties. Unless Solskjaer can make some magic happen. Solskjaer. And the Sheringham, Sheringham scores! Just like he did in the Champions League final in the 90th minute. He scores in the 120th minute. Not able to see the celebrations because I didn't jump in quickly enough. But Manchester United wins the double, wins the Champions League final, and we're not able to see the celebration. Who says FIFA isn't realistic? It wasn't Solskjaer, but it was Teddy Sheringham. 2-1 victory against PSG. That is how we end this video. If you guys have enjoyed it, you guys can leave me a like down below. Sorry you didn't get to see a lot of gameplay, but it's a recreation. It's a simulation. We're unable to win the treble. It is what it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. I moved in. Things are going to be coming soon. FIFA 23 is on the horizon. And I will see you next time.